The Call of the Wild has reached the marble world. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Choose your marble, choose your animal or insect or arachnid, whatever you have. And get ready to tumble down this course and see who comes out on top in the animal kingdom. We've got winged creatures, we've got creatures from the sea, and now we've got rolling marbles. It is Zeal out in front with Spider close behind. Ladybug back in third spot. Not exactly the red that you would usually associate with a ladybug. The ladybug moves into second and now back into third as Starfish makes a lunge up for first. Loses out back to third. Ladybug in the lead. Those astern, those top three are. Seal trying to devour the ladybug, which I don't think is the usual diet of a seal. Of course, I didn't check to see what species of seal it is. Well, either way, spider. Moonfish now up into first. Slow start for Moonfish, but coming on a little bit better here. Seal fall all the way back to fifth. Now makes a move for third. I say all the way back, and somebody's stuck back there. And I say all the way back, but they're so close, and apparently Starfish is out along with the Ghost Marble. Everybody taking this lower line. Oh, wait, I say everybody, not Dragonfly. Dragonfly, the big winner that time. Survived millions of years, pretty much unchanged. Now they got a little bit smaller, and in this race got a little bit rounder, but the Dragonfly, efficient as can be, up into first. A good gap back to Moonfish. Seal, Spider, Ladybug come next. Anybody going to take that speed boost? No, nobody also careens into that sign like we see sometimes, too. What a recovery by Seal, by the way. Oh, it gets stuck right there, and then dislodged. I was just about to say, up into second place, and now fighting for the position, but it's okay. Near miss. Seal continues on, but now has a slightly bigger gap in the final third of this race to close in and Dragonfly. We take a look at how spread out the field is. Seahorse now up into fourth, first time in a while. Ooh, and Dragonfly got up on the edge. That was a little bit dangerous. I know these things can fly usually, but in marble form, you probably don't want to do that. Dragonfly around the left-hander. Seal and Ladybug fighting between them farther back. The longer those two fight, the better it is for Dragonfly, but Dragonfly gets caught. They keep going again. Finally, a challenge here. Seal has caught all the way up to Dragonfly. Across the speed boost, both of them go. Now around the outside, Seal up to the front. Ladybug in third, Turtle and Seahorse. Now it's Ladybug having a go on Dragonfly. Pretty sure one eats the other usually, but maybe not. Right, together they are, and Seal is fine with that. Dragonfly looks ready to mount a charge here. Down the straight section with a little bit to go. Falls back to third. Ladybug into second. They're all drafting behind Seal. Ladybug lays a block on Dragonfly, and Seal will coast across for the win. A little over a half a second ahead of Ladybug and Dragonfly. Turtle and Seahorse come in next ever deliberative octopus comes in sixth spider moonfish and B round out the top nine starfish did not finish you can see why just getting stranded right in the middle there who end with the ghost marble too maybe able to grow an extra arm or an entirely new body but unable to grow some new momentum there's our finish close especially for third thank you so much for watching we hope that you will stick with us and get ready for Marbula 1 coming up soon.